love. That is a feeling that people share whenever they're with somebody for a long period of time. Eventually, they get married and celebrate anniversaries. Sadly, funnily enough, throughout the whole controversy of the video takedowns and Phil losing his shit to it, his four-year anniversary with his wife was yesterday. Because by the time this video is uploaded, it'll be April 11th. But the fun fact about it is that when people have an anniversary, they usually take time off to spend time with their significant other, either by making them a romantic dinner as like a kind of romantic gesture, or they go out to eat, probably somewhere like Red Lobster or somewhere to get sushi. You know, elegant places, pinky up fancy. You know, cause that's amore. You'd think that's what Phil would have done, right? Nope, Phil just went back to his office and started streaming and begging like he normally does. Now before we get to the main presentation, this is something that he actually did. Sadly, Phil decided to stream Silent Hill 3, the HD collection, again. And sadly, he butchered one of my favorite Silent Hills. Honestly, it's a better than two, my opinion. Don't at me. But this is what he had to say. Moments, like he got up and he sat down. This is what moments he had to say about it. If you were just playing the game, how would you even know that, right? And the thing is, 12 years ago, I must have figured it out or looked it up. Likely I looked it up. Here's the truth, and I, you know, 12 years ago was a different time. I wasn't live streaming. I wasn't doing direct capture. When if I, if I would get stuck on something like this, I would end the part, and I would go look it up. And then I would just come back and do it right. Sometimes I would even pretend like I didn't look it up. But what are you going to do? You're playing offline. You don't know what to do. No. That is not what happened. Anytime you would do something in a game and you're stuck, you always looked it up. Either you come back to the next part go, oh, I looked it up, and this is so fucking stupid, by the way. You're supposed to do this. Oh, how the hell are you supposed to figure it out? You've done that, Phil. And you said, oh, I never looked up a guide yet. Guess what? You have a chat now that does the hand-holding for you. Go back to eating your cake. Oh, right. When in doubt, Aqua Teal is always around to save the day. Thank you, Aqua Teal. Slayer says, I mean, you still have the birthday cake that you can eat for the anniversary. Ha ha ha. Funny story. Do you want to hear what happened with that? So, if you remember, I'll tell the story now. We might as well, right? Oh, a funny thing about that, right? The cake that he said was mm, so delicious. That's really good. Mmm, it's delicious. Yeah, tell us about that cake. So, we had uh, my birthday celebration on Friday, which was the marathon. And during that marathon, I ate pizza and nachos, and then I had a piece of birthday cake. Yeah, which you couldn't finish, even though you had two to three fucking bites left. Yeah, that cake. Now, I told you about this, that I had incredible stomach and intestinal pain that night. Tons. Huh, could it be from the nachos? Could it be from the fucking pizza that you ate? The two big slices of fucking pizza? No, it has to be the cake. But then again, <laughs> knowing how that cake looked, it did not look good. I'm just saying, it did not look good. Right? So I'm like, dude, it's because look what I did. I ate so much. I'm an idiot. I ate so much in one night. But of course, I picked out for my birthday. That's what it was for. I don't do that that often, right? Okay, I'm not going to lie. Everyone on their birthday, it doesn't matter if it's like their birthday or Thanksgiving, they have the right to pig out. So that's one thing. But in Phil's case, he orders a shitload of food via DoorDash, doesn't eat the rest of it, or they toss it. Wasteful. Like, that's just more money down the fucking drain that he can't afford anything. So anyway, the next day, my wife says, well, I need to cut the cake up and put it into storage because into like containers because we need that baking pan to make our dinner the next day. Or you could always have another baking pan. You know, they have two. That's why most kitchens would have two of them. Like they take it, put it in the refrigerator and store it. Just put like aluminum or saran wrap on top of it. So she cut it all up. She did that and she took a small piece of cake and she had it. And she's like, I absolutely loved it. It tasted amazing. But guess what happened to her? Huh. She loved it so much, she got sick from it. And you're proclaiming that your wife is a good cook. She got stomach pains just like me. And she had to take Alka-Seltzer and all kinds of shit because her stomach was destroyed too. So come to find out, one of two things happened. 
it means one of the ingredients was bad, which we don't know what it was, or the recipe she used wasn't a good recipe. Apparently, the recipe she used was a Southern-style carrot cake. Fuck you, Phil. Don't blame a recipe if it's Southern. Don't fucking blame that. It could be an ingredient. Fine, I, I'll concede with that one. It could be a fucking ingredient. Probably the carrots weren't good enough. Maybe the eggs that she had weren't good enough. But still, don't blame a recipe that she followed to a quote-unquote tea and then say, oh, it was Southern. Yeah, people from the South don't know how to cook. Phil, I'm from the South, and I can outcook the both of you. That tastes really good, but it has a lot of cooking oil in it, like way more cooking oil than you would usually put in a regular cake. Well, she probably fucked up and put way too fucking much. She probably confused a tablespoon with a teaspoon. Or vice versa. She, or no, she probably confused a cup of oil with a teaspoon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please continue. And we're thinking maybe that kills our stomachs. Either that or something was bad, but the eggs I don't think were bad. They were fine. I'm trying to... Carrots? It was, sh it was shredded carrots. I don't know how that could be bad. Carrots go bad if they become really slimy, Phil. And if you don't wash them, the, the, like, the bacteria or the dirt inside of them could be bad. That could be a part of that. Eggs can go bad if the weight of them, if they feel a little bit heavier than they used to or a little bit lighter, one of the two, people in the comments could back me up, you can tell an egg is bad. Flour? The flour wasn't bad. Sugar. Flour can also go bad if you don't use it for a long period of time. And also, funnily enough, bugs can get into it. Sugar I bought fresh, like everything we had done was like fine so i don't know what it was but after she had the cake and she had the same stomach problems as me we both agreed we were like well it tastes great but we definitely should not eat this cake because we're gonna get sick we continuously get sick phil you would have gotten sick either or because of the nachos having a lot of cheese the pizza having a lot of grease and that pizza did not even look cooked all the way just saying and also the cake having a lot of oil yeah adding a lot of grease and oil can fuck up your stomach. I'm not saying you would get food poisoning from it. I would just say that you would get a lot of indigestion because grease inside the stomach does not settle very well. So basically, I had a piece during the, the, the birthday marathon. She had a piece the next day, and that was it. We got rid of it. So that's it. No cake. Wow. Completely fucking wasteful. Yeah, I used the money that you gave me, guys, to buy all this shit. Oh, by the way, we tossed it. Waste of money. Waste of time. Waste of effort. And people still give him money. <laughs> the cake was a lie. There you go. They fuck you in that portal reference. That's all I gotta say is just fuck you. And now, our feature presentation. I'm on your side. Yeah, I didn't hurt you, stupid. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> I didn't hurt you. Kills the person. <laughs> I can just imagine him beat. I can just imagine like someone punches him in the face and he goes, but I was blocking. What's my favorite DDR song? Hey, Mr. Wonderful. Oh, you're so incredible. Hey, Mr. Wonderful. A miracle to me. Delusions of grandeur. He thinks that he could sing, but he can't. He thinks he's like a tenor or a soprano or an alto. He's not. Leave the singing to the professionals, Phil. Na 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 na, a miracle to me. Na 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 na. And I played it on the, the highest level. Phil, you have not played DDR. I can't imagine you going to up to a DDR machine and playing it. Because you take like a few steps and go, Ow, my gout! There's another song, Boogie Wonderland. Boogie, boogie. It's Boogie Wonderland. Dun, 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 boogie. Dun, boogie, boogie. It's Boogie Wonderland. Slayer says, aren't there better? <sighs> he thinks that those are the lyrics. Give me one second. Right here are the lyrics to Boogie Wonderland by Earth, Wind, and Fire featuring the emotions. He thinks that Boogie 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 Wonderland is how it's sing when it's dance. Boogie Wonderland. I know I can't sing either, but at least I can put a lot more soul and emotion than he does. Better healing spells there are. I used one and it barely heals me. I'm serious. Like, it seems like the magic in this game is not very good unless you have a 100% magic build, which I don't. 
<clears throat> well, whose fault is that, Filbert? Surely it's not your fault. It must be Bethesda's. Will I ever put out more Jasper emotes? I mean, I might. You guys have seen Jasper on stream quite a bit now. Maybe someone could actually, like, take a capture of how he looks on stream and make a new emote of it, because I don't have the capability to do it. Uh, I don't have any graphical design know-how or anything. It was actually, um, you know, a, a fan who had made the, the Jasper emote many years ago. And here's the thing about people that make him emotes. Once they submit it, they're his now. And if someone tries to take back the art, he immediately claims it as his own. But there's no trademark or copyright on those tra on those emotes. He claims them as his. And if anyone tries to do anything, they're assholes and they get banned. Yeah, and by the way, the emotes that you get made for you, Phil, they're not that great. I've seen better. Oh, Darbaki, he says, I became a member. Am I not able to chat and chat if I just sub today? Sadly, it is a 24-hour sub-only mode. The reason being, we have a lot of idiots who, before I did this mode two years ago, they came in here with bot accounts and either spammed a bunch of really disgusting racial, sexual stuff, or there is a, a, a big problem on YouTube with freaking sex bots. I know that sounds weird. Oh, God. Oh, God, not this clip. Oh, my God. Can we shut this thing the fuck up? It's obnoxiously bad. Shut up. Okay, so now we can concentrate. So let's see here. Okay, <laughs> so, yeah. His that t I'm gonna go a little context with that clip there. He got upset with Atomic Heart because of a robot that had used sexual innuendos, and he got so disgusted with it. He said that that part of the game was terrible. Yelled at the game to shut the fuck up multiple times. It's clear that this man does not have romantic nights with his wife. But back to the whole thing about comments that people would leave him, that how they were racist or racial, hateful. No. Most of the time that he gets comments, it's from detractors saying, hey, you're not doing this right. Or someone saying, hey, why are you fucking this up? Or this is how you don't play incoming. He got so butthurt about those that he ended up banning people for it. And he got to the point where he's like, fuck it. I'm going to put it in a member only mode. Oh, sub only mode. Oh, you want to talk? You better be a subscriber. I remember this because he was playing Jack 2. And I made a comment to in his stream that... <laughs> That he was failing the platform, and immediately I was banned for it. I made a joke and got banned for it. Imagine that. There are bots that advertise porn sites and stuff, and YouTube is rampant with this. If you don't have a 24-hour sub mode, these bots constantly spam everything. Well, Phil, it's not just YouTube that does it. Twitch does it, too. If they see someone who's streaming and they have a big following, yeah, you with the 230,000 subscribers, yeah... They will come to your stream and put sex bots in there. If they see that there's a high attention span in there, they will put a virus in there. It says, oh yeah, click on this and you'll meet a hot girl. will come have sex with you or something like that. But Phil, it's everywhere. It does not matter where you go. It is everywhere. Welcome to the internet. Have a look around. So that's why we have the sub mode enabled. And I apologize. Yeah, even if you become a member, there's no real way around the 24 hour sub mode to my knowledge. No. There isn't. You have to wait 24 hours in order to chat. But if you become a member, same thing. I think that you can automatically talk to Phil right there if you're a member. Same thing with his DSP Reacts content where you cannot watch his content unless you're a member. Or if you wait like the rest of us when he uploads it to YouTube. After, you know, hey, record, stop, record, stop, record, stop, upload, ka $3. So you do have to be sub for 24 hours in order to have your chat be seen. And I apologize for that wholeheartedly. I really, really wish we didn't have to do it, but you should have seen the nightmare this place was before we did sub-only mode. It basically was untenable. It was just a chaotic night. It was chaotic because there was detractors in there or people in there asking me questions that I didn't want to answer. So I had to ban them all and I got tired. So I had to make sub-only mode. Nightmare. So sorry about that. But uh, hopefully you'll be able to talk tomorrow whenever you sub, you know, 24 hours. So... No, you're not sorry. You're definitely not sorry. Lord knowing, he's probably going to talk shit about you. Maybe. Just being skeptical. <clears throat> okay, um... I think it's up to $24 of tips tonight. Guys, it would be great if we could hit the Tier 1 tips goal tonight. We didn't even hit that on the on the Silent Hill 3 stream earlier today. I know 
Huh, I wonder why. Because you're playing a game boringly. You put people to sleep with that playthrough. It kind of makes me wonder, why is it that Phil plays games that he knows won't get attraction, but he hypes it up like, oh, this is the biggest thing. I'm playing Silent Hill 3. Phil, you're not Proton John. You can't just hype up a game and people flock to you. You don't have that much charisma. As I mentioned before, you are a shitstorm over the seas and clouds of Texas roaring in. That's why nobody wants to come to you. They want to stay away as quickly as possible. That sounds weird because people were excited for Silent Hill 3 and, and it was good engagement. But yeah, we didn't even hit tier one. It would be great if we could hit it tonight. Thank you. All right. I'm not begging. All right, guys. We're halfway through tonight's stream. We got another hour left. Thanks to those who are chilling and enjoying. I really appreciate your support and uh, your chill vibes and uh, your, your interaction and your uh, conversation. All right. I really do appreciate it. Phil never gives a shit about conversations in his own chat. Anything that derails the stream or derails him playing the game is toxic to him. So he'll try whatever in his power to like get rid of that. Either talk about me or get the fuck out. Man, that's the whole mentality he has. Appreciate that. Now, if you could support the stream today, I would appreciate that very much. We're at 48 likes. I'm trying to hit 100 likes by the end of the stream. That is my goal on every stream. If we can hit 100, that'd be great. All right, super chats aren't bad. We got a new member tonight. However, tips would be great if. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm sorry, the snort got me. Okay, Phil, likes don't matter. Like, if I don't care if people like or dislike my video, it's like if people like what they like, they leave a like. I'm not gonna be like, hey guys, if you give me a hundred likes, I'll dance for you with bubbles in the background. <laughs> Because I don't want to force people. That's the thing. Phil, don't force people to like something. If they like it, they'll like it. It's the same thing with begging or what you're doing. If people want to contribute, they'll contribute. Don't force it on people. Oh, the super chats were nice, but guys, I really need that tips. I need to pay my bills, guys. Do you not see how old that gets? Jesus. Now tonight, if you cheer sub or tip, I'll give you a shout out. However, FYI, I do prefer tips tonight. Uh, tips help me more than anything right now in the current financial situation I'm in. Basically, I need to raise as many funds as possible to pay bills because I am way behind on money right now because of a lot of things that have been going on, which I won't bother you with. You could support with tips. Yeah, past Phil is still Phil today. He claims that he learned from the past and he won't do it anymore, but he still does it. Tonight, if you could, that would be nice. We did not hit the tips goal earlier today. If we could at least hit it once today, That'll be stupendous, okay? Phil, I'm going to be real with you. Get rid of the tips goal. We, nobody wants to see you wearing the gunner glasses, a stupid hat, and a stupid vest that you pull out of the closet. Nobody cares. I'm just saying nobody cares. You think that all the whales that are going to give you money, you think that, yeah, mm, yeah, put on that hat. Yeah, put on that vest. Mm, yeah, that looks so good on you, Phil. Mm, yeah. You think that's what they're doing? And if that is, oh, God. God, that's fucking disturbing. <laughs> In fact, I got another $2.50 tip. Oh no, the Oblivion music. I'm just thinking of Rich's streams. Oh God. Send me again. I have a few questions. Which Michael Jackson song do you think is the most popular? Oh my God, out of all the songs he ever sang? Probably Thriller. That's the one everyone does every single Halloween, right? Debatable. Michael Jackson did a lot of songs. But yeah, he is... Correct when it comes to that. His number one hit was Thriller. But yet, he was the king of pop. Any song that he brought out, Smooth Criminal, Be Beat It, Billy Jean, Man in the Mirror, Black and White. He made a lot of great songs, but he is correct on that part where Thriller was the all-time popular song. But then again, it's all subjective what you think is the best. What is your favorite Michael Jackson song? Oh, man. Thriller is great. Beat It is good. I'm Bad is good. Black it's bad. Not I'm bad. It's just bad. Or white is good. Uh, that song Leaning Alone is good. Billy Jean. All right, Billy. I could just imagine he plays that song when he goes to bed. He like tries to go to his life. He's like, don't, don't leave me alone. Oh God, I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. Billie Jean. Billy Jean is my favorite. Can you do any MJ dance moves or sing any of his songs? Absolutely not. Good. Do not sing anything, Michael Jackson, because you cannot go falsetto. Just saying, you can't. You claim that you can, but the delusions of grandeur is strong with you. At one point, I had a much better singing voice. I can't really sing that well anymore. As I've gotten older, my, my whole voice has changed. 
just listen to how I used to sound 10, 15 years ago in videos compared to today. I sound different. Yeah, you sounded different. And you still have the same attitude than you did back then. Weird how time flies. <clears throat> that just happens as you get older. Things naturally change. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. But uh, thank you for the tip. All right. Let's I don't know. When it comes to, like, people who could sing, there are people that can still hold a note. Doesn't matter how old they are, they could still hold a note. But if it's a woman, like a female vocalist, that's a whole different story. Because some of them can go up break if they had to. Hell, Serge Tankian can still sound the way he does. Just look at Metal Hell Singer. Let's continue. Leave me alone. Not Michael Jackson stuck in my head. I fucking called it. I fucking had it in my head. He's like, he's not gonna sing it, please. He's not gonna sing it. He probably is gonna sing it. And now look at it. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think Phil knows what the context for Leave Me Alone was. And if he tries to think of the context for it, oh my fucking god. It would just be sad. It was terrible. That was really bad. I'm sorry, everybody. That was atrocious. I uh, the delusion of grandeur has slowly cracked. I have a two dollar fifty cent tip to shout out, and this is from, uh, from Darbaki again. Quality gameplay. I'll tip you a dollar for every verse from Billy Jean you can recite from memory. Oh God. I actually don't know. All I remember is all I remember is the refrain. Billy Jean is not my lover. She's just a girl. Who thinks I am the one? But the kid is not my son. <clears throat> and then I remember. Oh, yeah, and he's like, I'm sorry, that was terrible. Yet proceeds to sing horribly. <laughs> That's about all I know. Phil, your air guitar is out of tune. You better go get that checked out, buddy. I actually don't know the ver verses of it. I'm going deeper underground. There's too much panic in this town. Well, we made it down here, and this is a dead end. This is just the uh, the thing you could jump, dump in, fall in. So, I should have been a singer. I when I was younger, I could sing much better. I call bullshit. I can't really sing that well anymore. Like I said, my voice over the years has definitely changed and screwed up. I think what it is. It's a combination of my post-nasal drip, allergies, and talking all day every day on stream. I figured he was going to mention his post-nasal drip. Phil, if you can work past it, you could sing. Hell, people that talk a lot, a lot of vocalists talk a lot, and yet they could still sing. You can't. And that will alter your vocal cords. And I think that's exactly what happened. Is At one point, I had very flexible, versatile vocal cords, and now I just don't anymore. They've, they've definitely gotten like screwed up so i can't sing half as well as i used to be able to when i was younger i could hit notes i could do all kinds of shit scuba we found some scuba in this game that's a rare thing huh i feel like i need some scuba if i have to listen to him singing good god see i feel like i would have physical limitations i'm actually pretty good at toning like wow a bethesda bug and he doesn't even call it out how sad I'm, I'm really good at remembering how songs sound and stuff, but I my my range is terrible now. Like I used to have great range. I have no range anymore. My voice has been screwed up. Whistle for us. Oh, hold on. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck? What's up with that? Why the fuck do you go? What the fuck? I just found gold. Whistle for us. I mean, I'll give him that. At least he can whistle well. That's just about it. The fan is back? The fan's been gone for over an hour. He appeared out of thin air. What on earth? It just so figures Later. that the one year where we decide let's not do a traditional chocolate or peanut butter cake like we usually do, and we do a different kind of cake, the thing backfires and gets us both sick to our stomachs. Oh, God damn it. I, knew, I didn't even think he would talk about the cake again. Phil... If you want to know how to make a good cake, follow a good recipe. If it calls for something, don't put a lot in it. Sure, you need a, a oil in the cake, but you don't need a lot of oil. 
then again, I think she used the wrong kind. It's like, unbelievable. It's what we get, right? No, the only one would have been the frosting. The frosting was just cream cheese frosting that, that was made from scratch. You know, fresh Philadelphia yes. cream cheese and stuff like that. So it definitely wasn't that. Phil, it could be that as well. That frosting didn't look like it was made properly. I mean, I'm just saying. It had to have been something in the cake batter. Like I said, for some reason, this, this recipe called for way more cooking oil than like a normal cake. Like I think my wife was telling me a normal cake that she would make would be like a third of a cup of cooking oil. And no exaggeration, this cake was calling for like a cup and a half of cooking oil. You too. So it's what? What? Bakers in the chat, is this true? Do some recipes call for like a cup and a half, like a cup and a half of cooking oil? I highly doubt that. It's like an insane amount of oil to make the cake moist, but that's probably not good for your stomach. So Phil, what makes a cake moist is the egg. If the egg is done right, it would make the cake moist. Also, uh, how long you cooked it for and at what temperature could help make the cake moist. But not cooking oil. That would just make the cake greasy, dude. If it tastes good and then you fucking, you know, pain and you're shitting your brains out. Oh, that's the side effect of eating too much grease. Then again, coming from you, probably your wife did it too, ate pizza, which gave a lot of grease. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I guess we're not doing that again. Like and then there was dead air. Then he says something. God, he thinks that this is quality content. It's not. <laughs> like, I'm about to pass out because it's like oh so dead air and by the way oh god i'm, I'm awake like the flower from the last of us yes like the cooking flower that turns you into a freaking cordyceps zombie that's right they were called clickers not zombies i don't care for last of us but i n at least know what they're called they were called either infected or clickers so there's maybe you should make cheesecakes with a good crust it'll be delicious and you can make it no sweat no 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 exaggeration, my wife actually was talking about possibly making homemade cheesecake at some point. She had never done it before, but she was willing to try it. Don't. Just don't try it. And she's probably like, oh yeah, I followed a recipe, but this recipe asked for two cups of cooking oil. No, that's not how, that's not how cheesecake works. No, my wife made that cake from scratch. She used a recipe she found online, and the entire cake, the batter, the cream cheese frosting, everything was made by hand from scratch. Do I, ever do I love how he still hypes this up like, yeah, my wife made this from scratch. The frosting, the batter, everything is made from scratch. But yet, it made him sick still. And this is how you spend your fucking four-year anniversary. About the games that I'm playing, you know sometimes if I'm playing a game for a great length and, um, and I get used to like a grind of it, then yes, like for example, last year, Elden Ring, I would sometimes have dreams about playing Elden Ring and I would wake up and I'd have to play Elden Ring on stream. I don't think you really dream, Phil. And if you do, it's probably not Elden Ring or the games you're playing. Hell, if you were dreaming about Like a Dragon Ishin, you would probably stay more awake. Oh, right. I forgot. That puts you to sleep. I can't block. Dude, all I, want to, all I want to do is block regular jumpings. It doesn't work. I keep getting hit. I'm not going to win this because I can't block. Look at this. An online keep away game because the fucking connections are so bad you can't block. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> that, that probably is like a like a reenactment of his dreams more like nightmare where he's trying to play a fighting game and he's like oh no the lag the delay oh god plays call of d oh no the lag oh god the, the thumbstick won't work out ah! nice. great stream so far tonight it would be great if we get 100 likes we're at 72 so if you could like the stream i would really appreciate that also again any other support would be appreciated it would really be great if we get the tier one tips goal tonight we didn't even do that on the Silent Hill 3 stream earlier today, so it'd be great if we could do it tonight, all right? Please, guys, I need those likes so I can blow bubbles to my chill. I mean, my fans. And I need that money so I can go out and buy th some things from Street Fighter. Do I mean, to go get groceries on my days off. All right, let's continue. Azani Blackheart. That's not begging. That's business. Guys, we got about... <laughs> I was in the middle of drinking something, and... I I forgot he said that it's not begging if it's a business. Phil, you're begging. If Sir Critical tells you that you're what you're doing is begging and you need to tone it down or stop, 
You need to stop. Stop it. Get some help. 15 minutes left on the stream. You've been a great audience. Last chance, if you would like to like the stream and let us hit our 100 likes, that would be great. Or if you could support the stream in any other way. Like I said, I was really, really hoping we'd hit our tips goal for tonight. And we didn't even come close, man. This sucks. This is essentially, for some odd reason, today was a slow day. Which is weird, because it really shouldn't have been. And somehow it was. I don't get it. Well, Phil, you streamed on a Monday. Mondays are usually slow. Why do you think people don't like going to work on a Monday? Because it's slow. I'm just saying, man. And here's the thing about business, though. You have to take risks for reward. And you don't want to take risks. You don't want to take gambles. You want to fucking go for the reward right away. I need that $150, guys. I need that every day. I need you to give me money every day. Phil, tone it down on begging and asking for likes. It will save you a ton of money and a ton of time. Well, maybe not the money part, but just you get the idea. I thought we had a great time on the streams, right? You know, you know my philosophy is we're having a good time together on streams. There's a lot of engagement. So usually support comes with it, and it just it didn't happen today. That is not your philosophy. Your philosophy is I have a successful business. Give me money. Give me money. I deserve the money. I spent more time playing this stupid game, and I deserve the binge. That's all that you're thinking, Phil. You don't care about the people watching it. They're probably bored to death right now. You don't care. You just want them to give you money. Hopefully, uh, it's in a pattern. Because that wouldn't be annoying. One day is all right. It's not a big deal. If it ends up being a pattern, now we're going to have a problem. So let's hope it's not a pattern. Thank you for gaslighting your audience, Phil. It's like, oh, if it happens again, we're going to have problems. This is true. Said testing the cheers. Seems to have worked, Rumble Stiltskins, but again, FYI, the preferred method w to contribute would be tips because they help me more than anything right now. I do have to buy a bunch of games this week, and I got bills coming up. I need to play by the end of the week, so. He ha yeah, he needs to get those games. He needs to get that money. Yeah, totally not for WWE Champions or fucking Street Fighter Duel. Totally not that. You know, it's sad for someone that claims to love his wife and actually hype up his wife's cooking and just everything that his wife does. You think that he would take time out of his quote unquote busy schedule so that he can go spend time with his wife on his four year anniversary. But instead, all he ended up doing was just beg, asking for money, and then going off to say that his wife's cake poisoned both him and his wife, yet blaming the recipe, even though it's not the recipe's fault. It's the baker that failed to follow said recipe. Now, like I mentioned before, if he actually just stopped using tips goals and he stopped asking for likes, maybe he could have a more positive stream. But knowing him, that's too much work and he can't afford the risk, so he has to go for the reward right away. So, all I gotta say is, happy four year anniversary to you two. Hope you love birds do something. And Lord knowing, he's probably just going to go back to streaming and begging, like he always does.